All right, so today we're going to go over the basics of making chicken stock, so all of your soups can taste fantastic. Uh, the first step with making chicken stock is the breakdown of the chicken. So um, basically you know, you're going to have all these usual parts, the leg, the thigh, the breast, and the wings. And we just have to get broken down and then eventually we'll be just using the carcass for our chicken stock. So when you're breaking down a chicken, the first key is uh, getting the wings off. You're just going to want to go in the chicken's armpit and come right here and just pull it back until you can separate the joints. And uh, for your chicken wings, you can just come through, cut them like that, give you your drumstick, this first joint you, don't, you aren't doing anything with, and this is your second joint. So you'll do that on both sides. And then uh, when you're taking off your legs and your thighs, the big thing, uh, the best part of the chicken is the oyster, these little pieces of meat that run right along here, right next to the spinal column. So when you're breaking these, you just want to come and break through this skin. Come up and just let the point of your knife, the blade of your knife, run right along with the bone. So you see you got your oyster there, you took off your back portion here, and you really want to make sure you get that. All this meat is usable, uh, you're still going to get great flavor from the bones with the meat on there. Uh, so you want to make sure you're getting as much of the meat off as possible. And then when you're taking off the breast, you can feel the breastbone, and you just want to split right down the middle, right along that breastbone. Again, just let your knife run right along the side of the bones so that you're getting as much of the meat as possible off. Get the breast. So once you do all that, you're going to take all your bones, get them into a roasting pan, and you'll chop, a uh, real rough chop of some carrot, celery, and onions. You'll get them all into your roasting pan. Throw them into your oven at about 425 degrees for 45 minutes to an hour so you can get a real nice brown on there. Uh, that'll give the chicken stock a lot of good flavor. And uh, after you do that, you'll go ahead and get it into a pot, just cover everything with water, and let it simmer for about three hours. Strain it out, and you'll have chicken stock. It's going to make some awesome soup. So